Hey everybody, my uh, Monday morning wrap up, UFC 234, Israel Adesanya versus Anderson Silva. Of course the main event, total washout the night before morning of uh, Robert Whitaker having a hernia, couldn't fight Kelvin Gastelum. So we got Israel Adesanya versus Anderson Silva, three rounder for the main event. What did we learn from that fight? First off, I thought it was promoted in a way very, very strangely. There was... The idea that it's a title eliminator, winner gets a title fight, but the week before, Dana White says if Anderson Silva gets knocked out, it might be the last time we see him in the octagon. On the walk-in, John Anik talked about, oh, let's see, if, you know, one more time in front of the Australian fans before he hangs him up or might hang him up. Okay, usually a title eliminator is balanced. These two guys are great. They're elite. They're the next in line. The winner gets the title shot. Anderson Silva won win in his last six fights going in. So it was probably the most uneven title contender fight I've ever seen. In terms of, you know, one guy's 15-0, undefeated, was it 14 finishes, and Anderson Silva on the downside of his career, and there was a lot of retirement talk. Oh, will he fight again after this? And I remember thinking, is, is he a title contender or is he retiring or is this a riding off into the sunset kind of fight w which one is it because you can't have both you can't say he's going to retire if he gets knocked out and if he wins he fights for the title that 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 contradiction was hard to get around in the promotion um so it seemed like a one tied one-sided title eliminator in israel adesanya you could argue deserves a title shot although i'll deal with that in a second um but anderson silva it's it, it would be hard to justify him getting a shot at the winner of Whitaker Gastelum with the streak he's on, how he's looked in his last few fights. So I thought that was interesting. The fight itself, much more competitive than I thought it would be, much more competitive than a lot of people thought it would be. The takeaway from the fight to a lot of people was, wow, Anderson Silva has more in the tank than we thought. He looks better against an elite guy than we thought he would. But generally a stand-up fight, obviously, almost exclusively a stand-up fight, uh, Israel Adesanya showed him a lot of respect. Didn't go after him as much as he had gone after previous opponents. And also, once you say this is a title eliminator, the winner gets a title shot, you don't have to put on a show. You don't have to do anything spectacular. You don't have to win by knockout. You don't have to, hey, if I win, I get a title shot. So it took away a lot of the incentive for Israel Adesanya to take any big risks. Once you realized Anderson Silva was still a dangerous fighter, uh, why am I going to risk getting knocked out? I have a title shot anyway. So there was some of that. Um, he respected Silva a lot. Uh, but when he was hitting with straight punches in the beginning, I was like, that's going to be a long night. Because usually those single shots never worked against Anderson Silva. You had to throw combinations to get him. And I, Israel Asana throwing single shots was catching him. Then Anderson Silva uh, made some adjustments. And, and it was one of those fights where we saw flashes of the old Anderson Silva. There wasn't that sense. There was a sense of palpable danger. Whenever Anderson Silva fought in his prime, he could turn your lights off any one second. Boom. One counter shot and it's over. I didn't get that sense of danger. He was in it the whole time. He was answering back well. We saw a good defense and offense on things. I didn't get that sense of, wow, Israel Sonny really needs to watch out. If he takes one, it could be over. That sense of imminent danger wasn't there anymore. We saw, you know, that, that he still has some tools, especially with a stand-up game, but we didn't see that lightning strike ability of Anderson Silva. It was really a hallmark of his career. Um, it's like a prime Usain Bolt would decide to win the race. Like it would be close for a minute and then he'd go, mm, I'm done with this. And turn on the Jets and leave everybody behind. We didn't see that. Anderson Silva kept up in the race. But we never got that sense that, ah, I think I want to really turn on right now. That, that third gear, that fourth gear wasn't really there. Um, but he looked good. Um, I saw a, an interesting tweet by a fan that said, Anderson Silva shows that he can still give anybody in the top five a problem. I have an issue with that. First off, he's now one win in his last seven fights. He doesn't deserve a top five guy. He should not be fighting top five guys. Shouldn't be doing that. Um, secondly, not a lot of the top five guys fight like Israel Adesanya. This, this was a, a rangy fight at distance all stand-up, it was right in Anderson Silva's wheelhouse. So yeah, he was fighting a dangerous guy, 100%, extremely dangerous. But a guy who kind of fought like him, he was in his comfort zone. None of the top five guys really fight like that. 
Uh, Chris Weidman certainly doesn't. Jacques Array doesn't. Kelvin Gaston's a, uh, a short-range puncher. Yoel Romero's a, a, an explosive wrestler. None of them really fight like Israel Adesanya. So it was a fight that, while set up for Israel Adesanya, um, was in, in the kind of range and kind of style that Anderson Silva was going to look good in. I don't want to see Anderson Silva fight top five guys anymore. I want to see him have some entertaining, exciting fights that showcase his strength and maybe help him go out on a, on a streak, which I think he deserves. Um, he talked about fighting Curitiba. Give him you know, a, a decent up-and-comer that he can beat and look good at. I, I don't want to see him top take on one of those top five guys. Enough of Ben Anderson Silva, Israel Adesanya. Um, yeah, he beat Anderson Silva. Uh, but, you know, I was asked about a title shot for him after his last fight, or maybe it was even the Brad Tavares fight. Oh, would he, could, could he be fight for a title? And I said, well, you got Jacare, Chris Weidman, Kelvin Gastelum, Yoel Romero. He's got to get through one of those guys. And I said that months ago. I said, yeah, he's got to get through. You know, I mean, we can get through one of those guys, sure. And now here he is essentially knocking on the door of a title shot and he hasn't gone through any of those guys. He hasn't beaten a top five middleweight. Has not. So there's still that question mark. Uh, we haven't really seen him pushed. We haven't really seen him under duress where things aren't going his way. And we haven't seen him take on a top five middleweight. So um, will, there be, will there be an interim title, him and probably Kelvin Gaslam? Makes sense. Probably. Um, I still don't like seeing Israel Adesanya get that fight and leapfrog so many talented guys in the top 185. How do you not go through Romero, Weidman, Jacare, Gaslam? Obviously, you might feel like face Gaslam for interim title. That's still a title shot. Interim or not. It's still a title shot without being a top five guy. So that's my only issue with Israel Adesanya. I think, you know, his style's great. The fact he didn't finish Anderson Silva, okay, fine. But still facing a tricky guy that he respected a lot. And he did enough to win. That's, he, he, he did what you put in front of him. You gave him a goal. Beat, beat Anderson Silva and you get a title shot. He beat Anderson Silva. So it's not his fault that that's a title eliminator. So he did what he needed to do. Um, I just don't like seeing a guy get a middleweight title shot when there's so many veteran talented names at 185 that he didn't have to go through. All the guys in the top five have gone through one of those guys. Except Israel Adesanya. So uh, that's my only gripe about him getting a title shot now. It'll probably be him and Gaslam. We'll see how that goes. Um, but it's going to be interesting from here on out. The takeaways were Anderson has more in the tank than we thought. Israel Asani is getting a middleweight title shot, but still a lot of unanswered questions. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave any comments below. Happy to answer any questions. Thanks, guys.